Hey everybody, welcome to the second episode of the Air Ride install. In this one we're going to be installing the airlines to the car and also the airbags themselves to the coilovers. So we'll show you through those in two different bits. Um, but first of all, what we need to do is mount the manifold. This bit here. Uh, and as I mentioned in the last video, we are going to mount that at the top of the boot compartment. So what we're using is a bit of uh, a bit of CAD, a bit of cardboard aided design to make a template, which we're then going to transfer onto some Perspex, and you'll see why we're using Perspex in the boot build video. Um, but we'll leave it for that one for the moment. I'll just I'll just mount it up. Um, and we're going to get that mounted so we know where all of the airlines need to run to so we get the right lengths on there because nothing worse than doing it a little bit too short. Uh, I've also bought some bulkhead style fittings. So these are 3.8 push to connect that go through the bulkhead because I just like the idea of having a fitting that runs into the car and then a completely separate sealed outside line for the outside bits of the car. Lots of people run their lines underneath the cars. Uh, for me, that just seems a little bit janky, which is going to get caught on something. I know fuel lines and stuff go there, but for an airline, it just seems a, uh, you know, cable tying things up and stuff just seems a bit, it's a bit silly. So I'm actually going to run as much as I can inside the car um, up to the point where it meets up with the, uh, the coilovers. So I'll show you all through that. Yeah. Raising the Tobago's, we growing like fresh tomatoes. Them boys on fire, two fuego. We pass it round, hot potato. Everything is new wavo. I'm with my sweetie like Quavo. Need my cheese, need that queso. Need my bread, need that bankroll. Wake up, yes, Lord, I'm thankful. Another day on my schedule. Steady blocking the devil. I tell a hater, God bless you. Cherish moments that special. You gotta keep the momento. If you love me, then I love you. And I could never forget you. Some memories don't fade. Sometimes you miss the old days, but nothing changes. Change, less you change what's around you, how you think, how you live, how you speak, how you walk, how you blink, how you talk, how you teach, how you reach, let it sink. What's your purpose? What's your passion? Did it pain? What's your plan? Is it plane? On a plane? How'd you plane? I'm just playing. What's your purpose? What's your passion? Did it pain? What's your plan? So now this is mounted up in roughly the right place where we want it. We can start looking at the piping for the bags. Um, what we're going to do is run those back up under here before they go anywhere else so it's nice and neat and this just sort of sits like this. So now we've got that manifold sitting in its final position we can start to run the lines throughout the whole car. Um, so what I'm doing is strip the other side of the car because we're going to run each one down each side so for the fronts, the front left, front right, the front left, left and front right. So while we're there, we might as well run the lines for the subwoofer as well. Uh, when you're doing that, make sure you have your power lines running down one side of the car. So I'm going to run those down, that's the remote and the and the live, down the same side as I had the, the air ride uh, wires running down. And I'm going to run the RCAs, the, uh, the cable that carries the sound, down the other side. Uh, but we'll keep it stripped out because that's where we're going to put the air line as well, down this side for this side of the car. So. Uh, crack on, take the stereo out, get it wired up. So the mistake a lot of people make is they don't leave enough slack behind the stereo for this wire. So they'll plug it in, put the stereo back in place and then tighten it all up. The trouble then is when you come to take the stereo back out is you can't actually pull it away. So make sure you leave a coil of it behind there before you start cable tying and then run the rest down to the back of the car. Uh, a beat by Joby, feel like Obi-Wan Kenobi Cause I'm a star and they can't hold me like I'm Kobe in the fourth Yeah, nothing is ever forced, we headed straight to the source No middleman, little man, let me show you if you was lost It's a couple college courses, but I ain't finished that shit Been chasing dreams since 17, so yeah, I've been on my shit Yeah, we loaded up the vault that had to empty the clip Remember days we wasn't paid and had to roll up the clips Nissan is so considerate, look, they've even put a nice little channel here for me to run the line and the uh, RCA through as well. Man, look at all this mess we got over the 180 when we were chopping the Perspex yesterday. Looks like it snowed. So next up, we're gonna have a little practice with chopping the airlines with this tool. This is the, the uh, tool that comes with the kit. It's a nice sharp blade and it means that the airline sits nice so you get a nice clean cut. 
not actually used it before, so we'll try a little bit just on the end just to see how it works. So we just sit that in nice and snug and give it a squeeze. And you get a nice, a nice clean cut. So that's pretty simple. Don't want to waste too much. So now what I'm going to do is mark out how much we need for the front of the vehicle. Obviously, you're going to have to run all the way down both sides. Uh, obviously, you don't want to waste any because I don't want to, have to end up buying a load more. It comes with 60 foot, I think, of it. So I'd hope we'd be all right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug it into the manifold at the back and then run it through so that we've got more than enough for what we need, cut it there, and then do the same for the other side, just so I know that we've got both bits for that. For the back, we shouldn't need too much because it's literally just going to go from the manifold to the sides of the boot and from the sides of the boot out into the uh, the wheel wells. So it should be nice and simple. So we've measured right up to the front, leaving enough for to go right the way to the strut, uh, even though we're going to have the bulkhead grommet, hopefully, if it will fit in between the two. Uh, but what we're going to do now is cut this line with a bit of extra length so it will bend round and go up into port one. No going back now. And what this does is just nicely snugly pushes in and then it doesn't come back out again. If you want to get it out, you just need to push it in, hold this bit up and pull. So on the inside I chucked a few anchor points down just for it to be able to cable tie everything to on this side because there's no wire and loom to match up with and we want to keep it nice and out of the way. And then when we get down here, there's a bit of wire and loom, and at the front we'll go onto the RCA. So that's one side buttoned up and all the way run under here. Um, I think it's come up quite nice, especially like where I've used the uh, the little tie downs here. To be honest, I think I even do it neater when I'm videoing it than I do uh, if I wasn't. So next thing to do is to run the remote cable, the live cable for the subwoofer, and the other line down the other side. So we'll crack on with that. So we've got the rest of the, so we've got the other line on the other side plumbed in as well. You can see it running down here, and we'll leave it curled up in here while we uh, sort out what we're going to do at the front here. But the next thing to do is to do the suspension. So what I've done is I've taken off the top cover here, taken off the wheel and jacked it up, and we're going to undo the bottom bolt here, to take off the coil over, and also the two top bolts, which sit sort of in there on that top shelf. So we can take this whole thing off and uh, clean it up. So a top tip for doing the suspension is to undo your bottom bolt, but leave it in place. That way when you undo your top bolts, it's still going to be pushing up against it, meaning that you won't have to worry about uh, the whole weight of the, of the strut sitting on those bolts and making it hard to turn every time. Also, if you've got one that's hard to get out, like this one here, which I'll have to use a spanner on, because I don't want to take the, the, um, I don't want to take the seat belt assembly off, then do that one first because again this bolt here over the other this nut here over the other side will hold the weight of it plus the pushing up on it as well and they come in a zip people say we take it long but we ain't rushing with shit put the plans in god hands and he gonna bless us with riches i ain't tripping over shit because i'm watching my step putting money on the phone could that been calling collect all on respect i can't lie i'm just here for a check just to build my family out and to buy your family house a lot of people only only talk and put your money where your mouth is Some memories don't fade Sometimes you miss the old days But nothing changed So these coilovers are pretty filthy after a year on the road We're going to clean them up And we're going to start by hitting them with some degreaser So we've mixed that with some warm water And then what I'll do is hit them with the pressure washer as well Hopefully, it should spark away What's your purpose? What's your passion? Do the pain? What's your plan? Is it plain? On a plane? How'd you play? I'm just playing. What's your purpose? What's your passion? Did it pay? What's your plan? Is it plain? On a plane? How'd you play? I'm just playing. <laughs> so a bit of degreaser and a bit of jet wash and they come up a view. So this is what they look like now. Most importantly the threads are all clean. But what we're gonna now do is take it apart and uh, give the individual parts a clean as well, just while they're off, because some of the dirt will get into the bits behind here. Corazón, 
in the jump for the shit All top when I speak, all cap with the speech Till they caught up in the rapture I'm so out of line with the phrase game Let's take a break, been a long day Hit your line with your fall through with the light sticks Maybe help me spark the ideas We got nowhere else to go, it's only up from there I've been on my own, just running through the field Say vivid for the ears, I know that's how they like Yeah, I fantasize, tell me that it's real When it's all said and done, I said it how I fit it I let them hit the fear of a passive progressive And we black men with a passion Steady grip when I shoot to the stars with the full Okay, so to fit our call over sleeves, there's a couple of things we want to do. We want to start by taking off and cleaning up the strut. Uh, as we've done with this one, we've hit it with some degreaser, we've pressure washed it, made sure it's all clean, then we're going to disassemble it. So it's all on this main thread coil here. As you can see, it looks like this when it's apart. And you can start by disassembling the bottom part here off of this sleeve. So take that sleeve off, take this locking collar off, next locking collar off, then from there what I would do is take the top bolt off, this part here. As you unwind that, that release the pressure on the spring. If you can't feel the pressure being relieved, what you want to do is unwind the bottom coilover collar, collar until that spring is loose before you take this right the way off. You can see it's threaded there. You can thread it pretty much to the top, uh, but don't take it right the way off until you've got that movement in the spring. Otherwise it might still be compressed and you'll have it shoot off and you don't want that. So once we've got that apart, that'll leave us with a few bits. Some bits we don't need, like the spring and anything inside there. Um, and some bits we do need, like these two locking collars, the main body, bottom part, and the top hat. So this one we've got apart. We've got our body. We've got our bottom footing, which threads on the bottom there. We've got our two locking collars. We've got our top bolt. And we've got our top hat here, including the bearing part that sits inside of it, because that's what it's all going to sit up against. So the first bit we're going to do anything with is the body itself. If you can see, on the body there's a bit of a shaft here that is smooth. That's where the O-seals on the inside of the sleeve are going to sit. And there's a little collar here, and that's where the O-seal that we're going to slide on sits. So the ones in the... In the uh, airbag sleeves are already pre-built into them. All you want to do is make sure all of the threads, especially the ones at the top here where it's going to slide down onto and lock in with, are all nice and clean because it makes it a lot easier for getting stuff on and off. So we're going to take our o-ring seal. This is what seals the top sleeve and sits in on the inside of here and sits up against it to stop any air from getting out the top. apply quite liberally some grease around it. We're also going to apply that grease around the top where it's going to sit as well. So we want a nice tight sealed connection. So we can just slide that over the top and it'll sit on like so. We're then going to take some more grease and sit that around the part where we said the o-ring is going to sit. And a little bit onto the threads as well. Just the top of the threads. Pretty much should be enough. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our bag we're going to slide it over, we're going to sit it in and start, there we go, so it, the top bit's poking out a little bit there, this bit's sitting on the thread, and we're just going to start threading it up as far as we can. There we go, so you'll only feel it go in a certain amount of way because it will go in the depth of that collar and that's where the o-rings sit up to it so that now is nice and tight on there you can do it by hand you really want to get something on there to grip it and push it but that's nice and tight so now what we can do is we can actually push that down and we know that once that's top screwed on it's going to sit up nice and tight to the top here so we're going to get our top hat make sure both bearings are in there we're going to get our top nut, and we're going to push down. So 
Now we go ever so nice and tight on there and it's sleeved in nicely there. So we've got our outlet for our uh, compressor fitting there and we can still if we wanted to adjust this top bit once it's on the car just to make sure we get the right that in the right place for where we want it. Next what we'll do is use one of our locking collars. Again we'll clean it up nice, make sure it's freely moving and we're going to lock that up against the bottom of the airbag. Once we start to feel it get tight, I'm going to grab a coil of a spanner and give that a spin so that's nice and buttered up against there. The next thing we're going to do is measure out our bag because what's going to happen is this is going to compress completely when the weight of the car goes onto it on there and we want to, so that seems to have compressed there and we, it might go a bit further, we want to make sure that it sits roughly the same sort of height as we've got it at the moment so we can actually keep the vehicle moving. Once we've got the car on all four bags we've got air in the system we can then adjust this to its lowest setting as we want it with it aired out so sit it on so it sits nice and high air the vehicle out and then adjust this till this gets to the lowest point you want it and then as you air up that will be the base point for it to, to stay on. So next on goes our second locking collar And then our footing. We won't lock down the bottom collar just yet because we want to make sure it sits perfectly on the uh, on the housing and which way around we need the outlet as well. Uh, so we'll sort that out first, pop on the vehicle and then work it all out from there. But that's your sleeve on there, ready to go onto the vehicle. This is for the front. So now we've got the bag built up and all tightened down. Uh, you can see that the the bag itself, the sleeve itself, is all crinkled in here. So what we need to do is to, uh, what I would call skirt it, so basically make sure that it comes down and sits over the edge here. Only way to do that is to fill it with air. So what I've put on is this quarter, quarter inch nib on here, and we're just going to wax a quarter inch line, and put it through just a normal uh, shredder valve pump. And we need to set this to about 80 psi. What we should see is the bag will start to, start to pump up, but then also the um, bottom sleeve, as long as we push it down a little bit, will roll over, and so you won't be able to see this metal bar here, it'll be sitting over the top of it. So you can see that it's popped and this is with it inflated. So I'll just let go a bit of air out of here. Then it sits down nicely all around the edges. It's not going to expand out too far when it's going up and down. So that's the, the final product that you're looking for. Covering over the bottom sleeve. Okay, so we're here a little snag on the coilovers, and that is uh, where the thread is on here. It's quite close to the collar. So, in a way, I kind of wish I just used the um, quarter inch line as opposed to going to the 3 8 line because it's thinner, a bit more flexible to run through the car and things, and that's what the fittings that came with the bags are. So, that would have fit in nicely into the fitting there. But because we went for the larger line, you can see here this is not going to fit as it sits on there. So what I've done is marked out a bit of the coil over here and if you can see on this one, pre I've already trimmed it, just trimmed it down to give us plenty of room to be able to tighten these up against the uh, bottom of the bag. And boom! That's both fronts done. Now it's time to uh, get them fitted up in the car. 
So before sticking my head into the wheel well, I took the liberty of degreasing it and just jet washing the whole thing. Uh, so I took it from this to this. So I plan to use these bulkhead fittings to go from the inside of the car to the outside. Um, but given that this is a fixed top and this is a fixed distance from it, and where it sits in the car, it sits pretty much about five mil the other side of this strut here. So what I'm thinking to be able to do is just drill a hole through here, run a grommet in it, obviously protect it from rust and things, run a grommet in it, um, and it just goes straight out from there into the thing. So what we'll do is we're gonna, now I've got the right fitting on there, what we'll do is fit the strut in place, mark it up, and probably drill it from the inside out for the smallest hole, and then make those holes big enough to fit the, uh, the proper line through it. So with a few simple tools, we've got a, uh, a center punch to mark the hole, first drill bit to make the hole, an expander, it's like a Christmas tree bit, and just a reamer to be able to uh, smart it up on both sides. So after a little bit of fettling with the hole, you can see there our compression fitting is right behind that, so we can literally just take a bit of pipe, push it straight in, and that's it installed, it's not going to come out. Obviously what we will do is disassemble this, clear all this out, uh, put some uh, rust proof spray in there and then use a grommet or some sort of rubber sealant to go around this. I think we found our lowest point to where it's going to sit. Uh, this is actually touching the top arch with this tyre combo. So I don't think we're going to be able to t tuck any lip, but I think it's going to sit right there, just slightly higher on its lowest setting, which is absolutely fine for running around on the streets. What I can't do right now is, comp is compress it up and down because we haven't got the, the front lines plumbed in and we haven't got the air tank plumbed in as well. So uh, for the minute what we're going to need to do is jack this back up again, wind the coil over as far to its top height as it will go to see if it will allow me to spin the car around so I can work on the front. I So next up is the front end off, which means uh, up in the air, wings off, bumper off. We'll be able to access all of the inner arch where the wire and loom is, and uh, obviously wheels off and suspension off as well. I got my eyes low with the sky foes where the rhyme floats, I don't really know Just what we might go with the mind scope So many things I never learned with my eyes closed too busy with the schemes on the telling of my dreams on the rail bitch I grind like my life's on the line hella wire so far through with the light sticks we open up when the light flicks on sight yellow cash rolls everything around me hunting for the bounty where that nigga drip on fountain ran a tree down by the ounce liquor skin brown slip it down to the earth spin around like these hella short don't make it count tell the people I need three four five better count it back out loud what we getting in me for the night I never hit reply but it red I just wanna feel alive life is so much more than the bills I just want a house in the hills I just wanna look into her eyes while I'm gripping on her thighs so she knowin' that it's real They don't really want it with the kid I do this shit to feed my future kids And I got these lame niggas crossed cause I'm starving They gotta see my highlight, real <laughs> Me call the sun as I'm asleep, show them If it's a thing and it runs good, it might go for me Couldn't pinpoint in the globe, that's why I wanted to go for me Just know that I don't fit in, but I wanna feel everything
all the bolts back in place to where they should be because otherwise I'll just lose them. So I've tested the front strut in place. As you can see here, I've got it all sat in, nipped up at the top just so we know exactly where it's going to sit position wise. Now, one of my intentions was to run this inner grommet, this uh, push to fit bulkhead fitting through somewhere like here. The trouble I think we're going to find with there is on full lock we might actually catch somewhere on the cable uh, so we want to have as little stuff in this area as possible. Also you have to run along here drilling holes put in clips in P clips in along here. So if you see where our fitting is right behind it we've actually got where the brake line comes in and that comes quite snug down on the um, frame rail and actually there's a grommet ABS unit, there's a grommet down here where we can go through on this side. On the other side we can do exactly the same by the strut but actually come through a bit sooner here just where this uh, arch, inner arch is and you can see there's some wire and loom already down through there and we can go in through that bit so it'd be nice and simple no drilling required and we'll come out exactly where we want it. So we've tucked our line up and if you can see this line up here it goes through a grommet underneath out into the engine bay and it's pretty well tucked down you could just about make out this line here which goes down through and then we're going to plumb that in to our fit in here so I'll cut that about there so we've got a little bit of slack for it to go up and down well, that's it for this video guys because um, I'm still waiting on some parts to come in for the bungs for the air tank um, Unfortunately, due to the virus, it's taken a little bit longer to come through, so I can't air up the system yet. I've done exactly the same thing the other side, uh, but I haven't plumbed all that in yet, because I'm going to show you that on the next video, um, what we're going to do with tidying up that wiring loom on there. So if you have a look at the drift in your Nissan, then the next one is definitely a central video, because it's all about uh, tidying up the wiring loom that goes over the, the wheel arch, and uh, rooting that out the way so you don't get any scrubbing on drift days, because that usually cuts through, and then you lose a whole load of electrics. So uh, see you next time.